For cheap and safe coins, go check the link in the description and use Crassy for a cool discount. And if you wanna buy cheap game codes and prepaid PSN and Xbox cards, G2A is also down below. How's it going guys? My name is Crassy and today we're gonna be talking about another bunch of effective attacking and defending tips which will take you to the next level and help you win the Division 1 title with ease. As you've seen in my Road to Glory series, I managed to win the title without losing a single point thanks to the most effective FIFA 16 techniques. In the previous episode, I shared the first part of them, so today we're going to continue completing the list of techniques. I'm bringing this type of content on the channel because I want you guys to implement the most effective techniques into your gameplay and then you will see how easy it will be for you guys to win the Division 1 title. So if you appreciate the content, don't forget to leave a like on the video and let's smash 800 likes until the next episode. So guys, we are gonna kick things off with an example on how to create goal scoring opportunities either against top plus opponents that are playing perfectly in defense or against park the bus players. In my opinion, corner kicks are one of the deadliest weapons to use, especially when you use my short corner kick techniques. It's also easy to get a corner. The direct pass towards the guy outside the box followed by a shot is the most effective way to score an opening goal and get your opponent to start playing more offensively which will cause him to leave gaps in his defense afterwards. That's exactly guys what happened in these two examples. I managed to score 10 goals in total after I scored the opener using this corner kick technique. Well, let's move on to another example describing the best and most effective ways of building fast counter-attacks. First of all guys, you need a proper custom tactic. In the previous episode, I showed you how my after patch custom tactic affected the defense. Today, you're gonna see how it affects the attack. As you can see, I've set the speed option at 95, therefore, once I steal the ball, I will get supported by a couple of teammates in the attack. Also, I use a game changer button guys, the L1 LB button, which causes my teammates to start running towards the opposing goal and then it's extremely easy for me to build a deadly attack based around short passes and through balls between my players. My after patch custom tactic will boost the efficacy of your counter attacks and the L1 LB button will help you create openings for through balls. Next, we're gonna discuss the most effective combo to use in the higher divisions, especially in Division 1. I've scored plenty of goals using the new stop and face goal technique. It's just an incredible way to fool and lose your markers inside the penalty box. The fake stop and face goal technique brings me at least a goal per game guys and considering the fact that I am in Division 1, that's more than amazing so I strongly recommend that you implement it into your gameplay. We're gonna finish off today's tutorial with my favorite move to use for cutting inside in FIFA 16, the spin move. You just cannot progress through the divisions guys if you don't use this move along the wings. This is a real nightmare for every single opponent, it doesn't matter if you are in Division 10 or Division 1, it works anywhere. It's a quick way to change the player's running direction which causes your opponents to lose you. I've scored a bunch of goals guys after the spin move and it has brought me so many wins in the higher divisions. So fellas, you've got the second part of the most effective techniques in FIFA 16 added to the list. Also, I have in-depth tutorials on every single technique and you can find its link in the description down below. Thank you for watching, my name is Krasi, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates and special giveaways and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye bye!